Hi everyone, time for a little bit of makeup again. Um, so I'm on my way to a birthday party and um, I need to put on some makeup. Um, but what I'll do today is I'm going to concentrate a little bit more on mascara. Normally I have false eyelashes, the single ones, um, but the lady that always did mine is not um, practicing anymore. So or she's not working in a salon anymore. Um, so I've been battling to get the perfect person to do the lashes the way that I like it. So the long of the short is I'm going end of the month again to try out somebody new. But now I haven't got anything on. And also the downside to um, when you don't have lashes on and you've been wearing it for a very long time, your own lashes is actually not that long. Um, it's like wearing false nails. Um, it, it takes a while to recuperate again. So my lashes is very, very short. So I need to improvise with the mascara that I'm going to wear um, to give some length and some definition to my lashes. So starting off clean skin with my favorite, the anti-aging um, primer, um, anti-wrinkle one. So just using a little bit and applying this with my foundation brush everywhere especially concentrating on the areas where there are little fine lines so it helps to plump out the fine lines and wrinkles and um, like i've mentioned in one of my previous videos as well it has got some anti-aging properties peptides in that also help with um, the collagen and elastin stimulation um, that slows down that causes serious aging in the skin so you don't need to apply lots and it's got a very smooth velvet texture to it so applied everywhere and then uh, my favorite the chameleon um, this one is the medium so there's different colors oh goodness look at my there's different colors now um, I'm using the medium and uh, this one really gives more coverage than what the normal one does. But if you are happy with the coverage and with the normal chameleon that hasn't got a tint to it, then it's perfect. Then you just carry on using that one. Or if you want to try out the one with the tint, like I said, this one is medium. But then you will see, obviously, our skin color is lighter now in winter than it is in summer. So in summertime, you would go on to a darker color. Um, I'll see now if my skin, if I need to go to the medium dark. But that one is quite dark. So more for your Asian and your um, darker skin ladies. I think that would be a bit too dark for me. But I'll see when it's summertime now. I'll try it out and see if it's going to work. So um, this one... Obviously, you apply everywhere and over the eye area. What you can do then, if you feel like you've got extra spots here and there that you need to cover, you can just layer a little bit more or you can use the concealer on that area. Normally, um, I do by my eyes. Um, there are the circles underneath the eye. I haven't been sleeping very well, so <laughs> it shows. There we go, so that's that. Okay, so now I've got a concealer. I just want to conceal a little bit here by my eye area, um, just to help a little bit with the dark circles. This is a um, cover and conceal stick that Gosh um, has, but they don't, I don't know, they've discontinued it, I don't know why. But this works very nicely for me just to conceal here by the eye areas. And um, don't go too dark when you conceal. Go a shade lighter when you do concealing around the eye area because um, it actually lifts the eye if you go a little bit lighter around the eyes. So that's there. Get up. And then I'm going to use, I don't want to fuff too much with um, eyeshadow. Um, this is eyeshadow that Gosh also has that comes in a form of a pencil with a applicator in the in the front area like that um, and then the product is inside and then you just apply it and this one is stardust so I just want to lift my eye area again oh look again just lift it so I apply the entire eye and the up to the brows and then on this side as well and to the brow area 
just like that. Um, and then I'm going to use a darker color. This one is Volcana. Um, just here on the inside of the eye, just to open up the eye area and give it some definition. Just a little bit, just like that. But then what I need to do is I need to just shade it in. So I'll use the Stardust one again, just to shade it in a little bit. Um, otherwise it's too definite. Sometimes I just want to use my finger as well. Nothing wrong with that, just to give it some, um, some depth. And now um, to try and sort out the lashes, um, gosh, it's got a, a Fake It Mascara, which is a lash primer that you apply um, on your lashes before you apply your mascara. And what this one does, it, it coats the lashes and it helps to give length to the lashes. It hydrates also, which is good because you don't want dry, brittle um, eyelashes because that breaks easier. So this one has got um, some hydrating properties and then it gives more length and volume. And especially now for me that hasn't got any lashes left, um, I need to apply this. So you apply this, it's got a, like, a, like a gray color. You apply it and then you apply your mascara over it. So this coats the lashes. And then on this one as well. And then you can do it at the bottom if you would want to. I think I've got some other mascara on because it's now. So you don't need to apply a lot. And then um, you do your mascara straight over that. And this is the Bombastic from Gosh, which I love. That gives volume and length to the lashes. And then you brush it through. If you mess on the skin, that's fine. You can always just clean it up with a cotton bud. And sometimes if the lashes clocks together, what I like doing is I just brush it out. I don't like it when the lashes is all sticking to one another. I, I remember in one stage it was actually fashion to have your lashes stick to one another. I don't know. To me it doesn't really appeal. Our pencil has got a little brush at the back, which is very nice, which I like to um, just brush it out. Sometimes then I just use the... Um, my um, cotton bud at the bottom and to brush over it so just because you don't want to get some mascara in your eye area oh, the areas where you've missed some mascara um, I'm going to brush this one out again I just keep the cotton bud at the back just to assist when I brush it out if there's excess mascara, then it can just go on the cotton bud. If you brush it out nicely and you see there's uh, you need more, then you can just put on more mascara. Cleans it up very nicely. And then time for the eyebrows. I always, um, I did have it done by Renette of the Brow & Co. So it still looks beautiful. But I like to use an eyebrow pencil just to... give that extra little bit definition and like the eyebrow pencils they are waterproof so um, you're not going to have any smudging happening um, with your eyebrows or going to land up on your cheeks or somewhere so that's it and maybe just a little bit of oh let me just do a little bit of blusher gosh has got this um, mine actually broke um, but it's a huge bronzer like this you could see I use this a lot and um, you can use it just to bronze or you can use it um, like I do as a blusher um, <clears throat> got my big lasher brush big one like that just on there and then there on the little apples you don't need a lot and then just finish off here at your temples at the top and here at the bottom so it actually like you would do a three um, a little bit here at the bottom, so it just ties it all in nicely, and I like to put a little bit there on the brow bone as well. Oh, oh no, there's some um, mascara. The brush there. That's it, and then finish off with 
We're going to try some pink today. We well, always do red. Uh, and then I color in my lips with the eye line, uh, the lip liner. Because uh, then your lipstick stays on much longer. And then this is also waterproof, which is nice because especially if you wear dark color lipstick, um, the older you get, the lipstick starts bleeding into the little fine lines around the mouth. And then this actually prevents it. But also the um, primer, the anti-wrinkle primer that I've put on, um, I also did it there so it helps to plump out the, the little fine lines around the lip area. Um, so that you don't get that bleeding of your lipstick. And then this is the um, liquid matte lips. From Gosh. Just doing that. There you go. And for you, a quick tip if you want to, don't want to get lipstick on your teeth, in the teeth, and then didn't go, so now it's off. And that's it. So, uh, ready for the party. Enjoy your makeup, guys, and stay safe. Bye.